We end tonight with an update from the International Mathematical Olympiad in Brazil. Team USA finished in fourth place out of 110 countries. Jim Axelrod met up with the American mathletes on the road to Rio. So the expected value of the number of crossings is always... The man in front of the class is no ordinary math teacher. This is so good. And the kids in the chairs are no ordinary students. P squared e. They are the U.S. team for the International Math Olympiad, the best high school math minds in the country. But instead, here's another line. And Po Shen Lo is their coach. One can think of this as having the same role in inspiring people to do their very best in mathematics as the Olympic athletic competitions have for sports. The son of immigrants from Singapore, Po was on the team in 1999. But when he took over as coach three years ago, the United States hadn't won in 20 years. No surprise, when ranking students from 71 countries, the U.S. tests in the bottom half. But at training camp at Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh, Poe has his mathletes build strong bonds out of the classroom as well as in. And this has to work for other things too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 17-year-old yeah. Zach Croman from San Francisco is making his debut on the U.S. team. The team does a great job of supporting each other in the sense that no one's pressured to get a certain score or they feel like they've failed. Um, we all just want to do our best. It's the same trick. Poe was straightforward about his low-stress approach when he interviewed for the top job. What I said is that if you put me in as coach, we're going to do much worse than we ever did. But he was wrong. The drought has ended. The U.S. has placed first each of the last two years. If you just constantly challenge and enjoy the love of doing better today than you did yesterday, then you will be on an onward march towards success. An important lesson for world-class math students and the rest of us as well. It's been a great pleasure to work with all of you guys. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, Pittsburgh.